Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this today's video, I will discuss how you can connect your Visual Studio code with SAP system. So before starting that configuration, let's see that architecture. So here, for example, you are a uh, SAP developer or SAP Fiori developer and you want to start all uh, example codings in your laptop and that is the reason you already install Visual Studio Code in your laptop and you want to start uh, coding but actually uh, whenever you start coding actually you need to consume data because you don't have the data in your local system of course you can start uh, with the, some mock data but in the end finally actually you need data from SAP system so if we think that um, that is the SAP uh, server and that is the database so SAP application server application server is connected with the HANA database and you are working here and this, this is totally separate but actually you need to connect your development system to consume data from that SAP app. So SAP app means the total SAP HANA system. So how you can uh, consume data? So that is the reason you need on service. This service is called that Utada service. You can use different service, but actually nowadays 81% is using the Udata service. Okay, so this Udata service, so first you want to, you start application here, like developing application. Then from that Udata service, you can, you can get data from SAP system. So of course here you have to, create a service like udata udata version 2 or version 4 whatever it is so backend developer they develop their udata service here so as a front-end developer you start uh, developing software and when you need this service for example the service name is jet SRV and this actually uh, it will show that all master data master data okay so here actually you are asked to create a software where you you can present you can can see the all master data so that is the reason you need this service so how you can get this service that is the only way that udata service actually of course there are different way but i'm talking about the udata so you have to connect this service via udata so how you can get that udata so basically two way you can connect um your system your developments development environment with the sp system one is the udata service url that means that whenever backend developer developed a service definitely they will they will give you a url so they said that hey uh, developer you that is the url for my udata service so you can just consume and another way is that um, you can connect the full system with your uh, development environments so if you connect the full system with your environment then what happen whatever the service it is you can get everywhere every all service uh, you can get uh, from from the system so whenever they get the new service like for example they create new service jet jet srv1 then back in, back in developer just tell you that my new service is SRB1. Then if you already connect with that system, this system with your de development environment, then you don't need the new URL. You can just uh, 
check the system and you can get so that is the reason actually it is always good to connect your uh, sap uh, development environment to connect with the system so now i will go um, to my development environment and i will show how you can connect how you can get the system the full hana system to your development environment so now so now this is my um, development environment and this is my SAP, uh, SAP HANA trial edition. Uh, I, I already upload another video from that video you can easily identify that how you can um, install or the SAP uh, trial edition and it is totally SAP, SAP HANA if I go to the system status then we can find that actually that is the that is HANA database and if we check the product version then you can see that actually that is the SAP S4 HANA foundation so it is the 1909 so you will get that all everything if you install your um, local machine and it is really helpful so here um, like as a backend developer already i install and one service uh, for example that is the jet test cds so like i act as a um, backend developer and i developed this service and this service is available in the uh, sab service place so now i want to uh, consume this service so that is the reason uh, i have to um, i have to connect this sap system uh, to my developer environment so that is the reason you need to just press f1 and after that you will find that sap fury focus on sap system view so if you just see like this so you can find that sap systems so here actually currently there is no systems found but you have to add this so just click on that plus button so now actually um, you can see that environment business technology that is the uh, business technology platform that is cloud but on premises means that that is on your that is local database local SAP system. So I collect on that above on uh, premises. So what is the system name? Uh, system name it could be um, it could be like um, Hana and url what is the url url actually you can find from here so if you just click on that uh, just call browser you can see actually that is the url you can https bscal 4 sci with the port you can get that url so you can just paste here so after that um, you have to use that client so my client is 001 so i am just using 001 and my username password i have to use my system username and password so it's the user So now I can test the connection. So here you can see that uh, its connection connected successfully. Udata version two, actually all Udata version two, you can consume from here. So I can just save that. So now you can see that SAP HANA, the system is now available in your uh, environment so now if you want to start developer any fury you can you can get any type of service what is available in that system so here uh, if we press f1 and 
open application generator so let's start with uh, that is the fury type start with the template so custom page list report page okay so select this okay so now data source what i what i told in the presentation that whenever you start any uh, development you need to consume data from this uh, sap system so now actually connect the system you can now connect the system because you already have that your, your system is already uh, connected so you can connect here so after that you can find you can configure again or already you have that connection what i connected here that is hana okay so now you can see that all service what is available in the system it's available here so whenever they get the new service whenever they create the new uh, new uh, service then it's automatically everything will be available here so yeah that is the that is the reason actually it is very um convenient for a developer so for example if i select any service like if i refresh here for example uh z s c u s t u m custom cds so if we want to use this so it is z s z s c u m okay so you can find that is the service so just select this now you can just next so automatically you can find that entity this entity actually coming from here if you check the gateway client here so if you check that how many entities is there basically there is only one entity so that is the reason it is showing that only one entity if if more than one then it will it will show that what entity you want to use as a um, master so just click next i'm not um, doing that much so now it is um doing so it is the main project name app title i'm not changing anything just no and just finish so now it is developing at full fuel application basically that is a simple application but actually you can now understand how it's connecting how is getting data and how it will load so now it is installing the dependencies because there are lots of packages needs to install so it will install everything you don't need to worry about that so after that you can um, see the preview the application so let it be done we have to wait for that so now you can see that it's already generate the applications ability validate application whatever you want to do you can you can do everything here so uh, that is a basically a very uh, simple application i just wanted to make sure that you can understand how your application is connected with that sap system so now if we want to see the preview so basically that is uh, I, I need to know that which app it is or another way you can what you can do from here you can just start the npm start you have to make sure that you are in the current project folder so start that so it will start start it's starting so here you can see that it is already started so from here you can see that it's all everything is coming from that service so see everything all actually 
the customer related information what is mentioned in that cds view actually everything is appearing here um, the detail space is not configured but you can see that how easily you can configure uh, if you know how to connect um, your visual studio code with sb system that is very easy i mean that if you want to work with another um, service you can easily find that which service is available and you can um, you can just consume that uh, so that's all my today's video so if you really like this video uh, please um, comments and like and subscribe thank you so much